What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and I am back with a Google, and I'm back with Google videos. That's right, guys. I know it's been a while since I did the last Google video, but this one's very, very important. Now, <clears throat> before I get started, um, I want to introduce two very, very special guests here with me today. Um, two of them are part of the uh, Team Flame. <laughs> And let me just tell you guys, the reason why I got them here is because they're the most best, best judging uh, characters here. I got three characters here with me. I am here with Sunset Shimmer. Hello, everyone. Blaze the Cat. Hi. And, of course, Princess Twilight Sparkle. That's right. I got Twilight here, too, as well. Hello. Anyway, ladies, listen. I want to thank you so much for helping me out with this. Of course. You know we're always here to help you. Yeah, I know that. Anyway, listen. So, last time I asked if... I, okay, last time I asked somebody... Because, uh, you see, I have 12 spots left for the uh, Team Flame uh, sign-up sheet. And a lot of people have actually been giving me lots of ideas. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, I thought maybe I can uh, run through this uh, list that I got from a... Uh, YouTuber by the name of Static the Hedgehog. Hmm, alright then. Let's see. So, why are we going on Google? So that way we can actually see if they'll actually fit the Team Flame name. Okay? Anyway, so, um, like I said before, this list was provided by me, uh, through Static the Hedgehog. I do like to thank him so much for giving me this, uh, list of characters. I do like to thank him so much for giving me this list of characters here, and I'll let him know if any of his characters that he named off of here makes it into Team Flame. Okay, now, if you guys want to see more Google videos, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below if you guys think any of these characters right here are Team Flame material. And also, let me know in the comments down below any other uh, characters that have fire abilities uh, might be useful for Team Flame. Okay, now, anyway, Sunset Shimmer, uh, I understand you haven't been on Google before. Now, here's a little bit of a tip. If you go on Google, make sure you do the following. Turn off the safe search. Okay? I mean, make, I mean, make sure you turn on the safe search. My bad. Make sure you turn on the safe search because you might accidentally end up looking at something you weren't supposed to be looking at. <laughs> Okay, well, anywho, so without further ado, let's begin. All right, so the first character on Static's list was Heat Blast from Ben 10. All right, so we'll search up Ben 10, and then we'll type in the name Heat Blast. Oh, I almost forgot. He actually also put down Swamp Fire as well. We'll look at those in a minute. Anyway, there it is, Heat Blast fan art. Okay, so let's see. Well, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Heat Blast actually does look pretty good. I mean, he could work out. I mean, look at this one. Look at this picture of future Ben 10,000 of him as Heat Blast. Hmm, looks very interesting. Yeah, he is really interesting, uh, Blaze. But uh, yeah, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Heat Blast, he is a good idea. He is a good idea, but here's the thing though, Static, um, he was, he is a great idea, but here's the thing though, um, Heat Blast doesn't last long, because you see, and plus not to mention, having Ben 10 in my, uh, in my team, it's definitely going to be hard, because you know, when the Omnitrix times out, he's definitely going to be a sitting duck, he's totally going to be a sitting duck, so... Yeah, I honestly don't know if Ben 10 could be, uh, you know, Team Flame material. But thank you for recommending him. But I guess we'll still look at some fan art of him, I guess. Okay, uh, anyway, let's see what else we got here. And, oh, I remember this version of him. This is from the, uh, this is from the, uh, Ben 10 reboot cartoon that they, uh, have out right now. Hmm, I don't think i ever seen that one before. <laughs> Trust me, Sunset, it's definitely a little bit goofy. It's funny, and not to mention he unlocks a whole bunch of different aliens. I'll never forget the movie that he did. I'll never forget the movie that he did where he teamed up with his uh, many different versions of himself. That was definitely awesome. 
I mean, they, I mean, he teamed up with different versions of himself from many different multiverses. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it was awesome. Anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, some of these actually look pretty cool. Uh, whoa, what the world is this? Oh, I see what it is. This is if the, uh, normal, modern, uh, Ben 10 had the, uh, upgrades that he got from the, uh, Ben 10 reboot. Because you guys remember how in the, uh, Ben 10 reboot that how, um, whenever he turns into, like, an alien, he gets, like, a power-up when he has, like, this, uh, blue, uh, crystal or whatever it is. It's actually pretty awesome. It's, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really awesome. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's keep on going here, and, um, okay, what the world is this? <laughs> it's Heat Blast as a pony! That's so cute! That's so cute! Oh my gosh. Well, that would definitely work out pretty awesome, because here's the thing, guys, I actually have an Omnitrix. If you guys remember, I actually have an Omnitrix as well. Um, it's actually pretty cool. You see... And I actually unlocked Master Control, which basically means, guys, I can switch aliens willingly. I don't have to wait for the Omnitrix to time out. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. But here's the thing. I don't necessarily need the Omnitrix as much because I'm pretty much OP as, as if without it. But anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, um, so, ladies, what did you think about uh, Heat Blast so far? Well, he is interesting. I'm not going to lie. He is really interesting. Yeah, but remember, we're only looking for recruits that actually use fire abilities all the time. Not just as an option, though. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Okay, well, I guess we can look at a another transformation that he did, uh, which I believe was Swamp Fire. So we'll look up him. Okay, so Swamp Fire Fan... Art. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, Swampfire does look pretty awesome. He looks cool. I really do like this one. I really do like this picture right here. We got the first Swampfire in the front and Ultimate Swampfire in the back. Now that actually looks awesome. That looks cool. <laughs> that actually looks really, really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that looks awesome. Ultimate Swampfire? Yeah, because you see, in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, he gets the uh, ultimate. He gets the Ultimatrix or whatever it's called, the ultimate mate, uh, the ultimate Omnitrix, where he can actually turn his aliens into their ultimate forms. It's actually really interesting. Although some aliens, they don't necessarily have a ultimate form. It would be kind of cool if some of them did. I mean, trust and believe me, there are a lot of aliens that actually do have ultimate forms, like uh, Big Chill, Echo Echo, Swamp Fire, Humongousaur, and lots of others. Oh my gosh, that was, that's just so cool. It's basically the primary aliens he started off with. It's basically the primary aliens that he started off with. The first 10 aliens he ever had in Ben 10 Alien Force. He's like the first ones. And then he even had some of his classic aliens get a... Uh, ultimate form like ultimate cannon bolt ultimate wild mutt ultimate way big now that's definitely awesome i'm not gonna lie and i could just sit here and name the ultimate aliens all i want but nah i'm not going to <laughs> but anyway let's continue on okay well again uh static thank you so much for recommending uh heat blast and swamp fire but like i said before uh it's only for people that uh uses fire abilities all the time not like, not, like I said, not like as an option or anything. But hey, thank you for recommending him. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so uh, cross him off the list here. All right. Now, okay, so next up we have is, um, okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I have seen this show years ago, but I just stopped watching it because, let's just be real here, I found it too girly. It's, uh... Bloom from the Winx Club. Winx Club? Wait a minute, hold up. I know that show. That's the show that they say that we ripped off, you know, turning into, you know, our pony forms and stuff. Wait a minute, Sunset, is that true? Yeah, it's true. I mean, hang on. Do you remember all those transformations that they always do? Yeah. That's almost kind of like how we always pony up into our many different forms. You know, our geode forms, our memory forms, and lots of other stuff. 
Yeah, that is kind of true. Yeah, that is kind of true. But anyway, we'll look that up in a moment. Hang on. So we got Bloom. And next up is Winx Club. Okay. Winx Club fan art. Okay. Let's check this out real quick. All right. Let's check this out. Okay, well, I'm not going to lie, she would be kind of interesting to have in the uh, in Team Flame. I mean, it would be kind of cool to have her. I mean, having fire abilities and stuff, and also having like a uh, fiery dragon spirit that she has. It's actually pretty awesome. I mean, look at this fan art right here. She looks... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie, guys. Wings Club kind of looks like something it should be like an own, like its own anime or something. Not like an animated cartoon. I mean like an uh, actual anime. I can just actually, I can actually picture the anime. Like this one right here. This picture looks actually really cool. I, okay, guys, like I said before, I haven't seen Wings Club in a long time. This is just a little bit something interesting. I'm not going to lie. It looks interesting and it looks really interesting. Um, but here's the thing, guys. I really don't know much about the characters. I really don't know much about them, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, definitely something here. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Bloom does look really, uh, cute and stuff. And also, Sunset, if you're willing to get along with her, maybe, just maybe, I'll think about, uh, going over there and seeing if she can join the, uh, Team Flame, okay? All right, just as long as she doesn't start accusing us of, you know, turning into our pony up forms. I'm sure that she won't. I'm sure that she won't. Okay, well, let's keep on looking at a uh, fan art of her. Um, well, I like this one right here. She looks really cute here in this one. She looks cute here. And plus, not only that, um, I'm not gonna lie, uh... I'm not gonna lie, she does look kind of cute, but isn't she, you know, just at her school or something? Well, the last time I heard, she actually was at her school, but I'm pretty sure she's done by now. Hmm, I, maybe. Anyway, uh, okay, so static after consideration. I'm thinking maybe Bloom might be, you know, uh, <laughs> she might be team flame material so i'll put a check mark next to her name oh if you guys don't know i actually written down the names of the characters here i'm just checking them off as we go so uh anyway we just got done looking at swamp fire and heat blast bloom we considered her to be a uh, flame team flame material so next up we're going to be looking at uh Moko, I think that's what their name is, and he, or whatever his name, or whatever, or whoever that is, is from the show Legend of Korra, I believe, uh, I believe, okay, well, we're about to find out here, so, if I can spell it right, Korra, okay, here we go, okay, oh, it's this dude, Oh, it's this dude. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to put fan art. My bad. Sorry. Fan art. Whoops. Art. There. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. This guy. I totally forgot about this guy. Um, He's the guy that uh, t that, that Korra teamed up with in that tournament. The uh, Elements Tournament, if I remember correctly. It was uh, interesting. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was stupid. But anyway, uh, it's this guy. He actually looks really interesting. I never knew his name, though. So his name is... Uh, Moko, uh, Moko, oh wait, hang on, I spelled his name wrong up in there, I'm sorry guys, it's been a while since I did a Google video, I'm so sorry, anyway, uh, let's see, there we go, now we got it, now we got his name right, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I'm off my spelling today, okay, anyway, let's keep on going, uh, not gonna lie, he actually does look pretty powerful, but here's the thing, we already have, like, um, a few firebenders already. We got uh, Prince Zuko and Princess Azula. Hopefully, those two can get along long enough to help me, okay? Hopefully, they can get along long enough to help me. Because I know Zuko, he's on the good side. But as for his sister, eh, I don't know. I mean, she is pretty evil. I mean, she is pretty evil. And to think, I almost recruited her to be in Team Flame. Ugh. To think, I almost recruited her to be in Team Flame. Yikes. But I honestly don't know yet, guys. I don't know, but yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, let's keep on going here and... Whoa! Who is this? 
Who is this? Can someone please explain to me who the heck is this? Who the heck is this guy kissing? Who the heck is this? She's hot, okay? She's hot. Let me know in the comments down below who the heck that was. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see what else we got here. And, oh, yeah, I kind of forgot that those... I almost forgot that that guy and Cora, they uh, kind of had a, uh, you know, friendly uh, on-off relationship or something. Sometimes they're teammates. Sometimes they're, ro sometimes they're uh, you know, a good friends. And sometimes they're like a uh, supposed-to-be couple and stuff. It's kind of crazy, though. I don't know why you guys seem to ship these two together. I mean, it's uh, obvious, I guess. If you guys go back and look at the show, there's plenty of stuff. But here's the thing, guys. I'm mainly more into... Uh, I'm mainly more into Avatar The Last Airbender. I know this is like, you know, like chapter two of, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender. But, uh, yeah, I'm mainly more into like the uh, classic Avatar The Last Airbender. Like with Aang and... Katara, Sokka, Toph, and lots of, and all the others. Even though Toph, she is in Legend of Korra, but here's the thing, though. Uh, eh, I don't know. But anyway, like I said before, uh, this guy, I'm not so sure. Because like I said, because I we already got like a lot of firebenders. So, yeah, I'll think about it. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I guess maybe he can be okay, but... I'm sorry, but I'm going to cross them out here because, like I said, we already got enough firebenders. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, Twilight, what's the next person on the list? Um, it says it's some person by the name of Endeavor. Oh, no, not that guy. What? Who is he? Oh, my Lord. Okay, well, Endeavor, he is supposed to be a superhero from My Hero Academia. But here's the thing. All he is is just the number one bitch there. I mean, he's kind of like the Shadow the Hedgehog of the uh, franchise. Well, not really. He's kind of like the uh, second Shadow the Hedgehog, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so uh, basically what he... So basically what his problem is is that he has a rivalry with his all-time uh, rival by the name of All Might. And so, basically, he's having a hard time trying to get past him because he's the number two hero while All Might's the number one. And he's really, really trying his best to make it into number one. So he thought, if he can't do it, maybe his son can. Maybe his son can. Or maybe his children can. But he's worried that since it's going to inherit his quirk, and his quirk is kind of, you know, fiery and untamed... He thought, hey, maybe I can actually mate or have sex with a uh, ice person. And so he did. And after many, many different tries, he actually succeeded into a uh, creed, into, uh, you know, birthing his uh, son that has half his mom's powers and half his dad's powers. And let me just tell you, Todoroki, he actually did have a uh, very, very hard life. He really did have a hard life. Especially after what his mom did to him. What did his mom do? Well, let's just say she couldn't look at her son the same way anymore. Because, you see, the fire half of Todoroki just reminded her of uh, Endeavor so much to the point where she uh, dumped boiling hot water on his face. Ouch! Why would his mom do that? Like I said, it's because his fire half is reminding her of Endeavor. And plus, not to mention, I really don't like Endeavor. He's such a dick of a dad. I mean, sure, he may be all cool looking with the fire and stuff, but no, no thank you, no. I would not want Endeavor anywhere near my team. Especially since Todoroki, he is already on my team. He's already on my team, so yeah, no, he's definitely not going to be joining my team. No, you guys can forget that. Static, thank you so much for recommending him, but I'm sorry, no. No, 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 no. Endeavor is not joining Team Flame. I mean, sure, his fan art looks cool. I mean, look at this one, it looks pretty cool, I guess. And same thing with this one, he does look pretty cool with the flames everywhere. And I guess this one looks okay, I guess. But yeah, again, no, I'm sorry. Endeavor is definitely not joining Team Flame. Uh-uh, no way. Especially, like I said, since Todoroki's already there. And since, uh, you know, Deku already told him 
that his fire abilities isn't holding him back. He actually can use his fire abilities now because he told him because he told him that his fire abilities is not his dad's, it's his own. So yeah, anyway, sorry static, but again, Endeavor is not joining Team Flame, especially if we have his son on here already. You know those two do not get along well. Okay, anyway, uh Sunset, who's the next one? Uh that would be Sabo. Sabo. Where have I heard that name before? Hang on. Sabo. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's actually from One Piece. He's actually from One Piece. Well, I guess we can search him up. Hang on, give me one moment. Fan art. Okay, Sabo. Um, I don't know. I don't know about Sabo. I mean, he seems cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, sure, he did grow up with Luffy and Ace and everything, but I don't know. I honestly don't know if I should add Sabo. I mean, he is pretty cool and all, but... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I already have Ace on my team, so I don't know. And guys, here's the thing. Don't you think it's kind of crazy how Luffy, he has stretchy powers while his two brothers actually have fire powers? Don't you think it's kind of crazy, though? Well, I guess maybe Sabo can't be too bad. I mean, look at the fan art. It would be kind of cool to have him there. Plus, if you think about it, it will be an interesting family reunion for uh, him and Ace to get back together. And hey, maybe after this, maybe uh, Luffy can uh, join in. I mean, even though he's not part of, he doesn't have any fire abilities or anything, it's kind of cool though. <laughs> I mean, look at these pictures of him. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, you know what? You proved your point. Static, I decided I'm going to add Sabo into the uh, flame, into Team Flame. So yeah, there we go. I'll put a check mark next to his name. All right, well, let's see what else we got here. All right, so I don't know who the heck this person is. His name is Ren something. Okay, his name is Ren. Um, it's this guy. It's this guy. Um, I don't know who the where the heck he's from. It says he's from an anime called. It says it's from a show called Blue something Exorcist. Blue Exorcist. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hang on. We're about to find out. Hang on. Fan art. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily know much about this guy. Uh, have you guys ever heard of him? I haven't. No, me either. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Well, um, I don't really know much about this guy. I don't know. Because here's the thing, though. Uh... I'm mainly recruiting characters that I do know about, but, um, yeah, I don't know about this guy. He looks interesting with the blue flames and everything, but, uh, yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Uh, Static, here's the thing. I don't know if this guy, um, I don't know this guy, so I'm sorry, but, yeah, this guy, I don't know, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. Gonna have to say no, Chief. Sorry, buddy. Okay, well, anyway, next up is, uh, oh, it's a character from Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, it's a character from Seven Deadly Sins and in count in, uh, S, I can't really pronounce his name. Uh, it's spelled E-S-C-A-N. Uh, okay, there it is. Seven Deadly Sins, fan art, okay, let's see. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, heck no. Heck no. I seen a mod of him on Friday Night Funkin'. No, definitely not. No, I seen this guy on Friday Night. No, 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 no. I seen a mod of him on Friday Night Funkin', and I was just wondering who the hell that was. Um... I'm sorry, but no, I'm sorry. And besides, we don't need no big, beefy, muscular, lumber, lumberjack-looking guy here. We don't need that. Sorry. <laughs> not trying to make fun of your characters, Static. I'm not trying to make fun of your characters. I'm just saying, no. I mean, it's just my opinion here. It's just my opinion, all right? Cool beans. Hopefully, we can still be buds after this. 
Okay, and guys, we are down to the last character, and you guys actually might know who he is, and I definitely know who he is. He comes from my favorite show that I used to like watching when I was a kid, and that would be the American Dragon. I mean, come on, guys. Who doesn't remember that show? Who doesn't remember that show? I mean, who doesn't remember that show? But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing, guys. Um, the first, the, like, the, like, around the first time it showed, it was actually pretty cool. Like, hello, he was this big old beefy buff dragon, like this one, like this, like this. But then later on in the season, they, uh, skinny them down to that. Well, not, well, not like that, but, um, yeah, you guys seen what I, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I don't know why the world they did that. I don't know what the heck the people that made that show were thinking when they did that. I mean, bring back the big beefy Jake. Bring him back. I mean, come on. Bring him back. He's he was def he's definitely awesome. And also, guys, here's a fun fact for you guys. Did you guys know the voice actor that voices Prince Zuko voices Jake? Did you guys know that? That was actually pretty awesome. I didn't know that until I actually heard him say, Dragon Up. I didn't actually know that until I actually heard it. I didn't know it. It was actually pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. And plus, maybe he's definitely pretty awesome. I mean, if you think about it, he is interesting. And plus, he has mastered his full potential when it came to, you know, being a dragon and stuff. And all dragons are about fire and stuff. So, pfft. Yeah, so from one dragon to another, I guess Jake Long would be awesome to be part of this. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Well, guys, here's the thing though. Um, I decided to add, I decided to look up two more characters because a lot of you guys have recommended me to uh, add these characters into the uh, into Team Flame. And that would be Mario, because here's the thing, guys. We all know that Mario actually does have fire abilities and stuff. It's uh, pretty awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, Fire Flower fan art. And, guys, see, here's the thing, though. With his Fire Flower, here, see, guys, with the thing, though, with his Fire Flower, we all know for a fact that his fire abilities doesn't really last long. But I guess maybe it can help. I guess, I don't know. And plus, wow, not gonna lie, Princess Peach actually looks pretty cool with this. Anyway, uh, I honestly don't know, guys, because Mario, he does seem pretty cool with these, uh, with the Fire Flower and stuff, but, uh, like I said before, the Fire Flower power-up doesn't really last long for him. It doesn't really last long, so, yeah, I don't know about Mario. But then again, he is really awesome with his fire abilities. I mean, you guys seen Super Smash Bros. You guys seen Super Smash Bros. And, you know, I guess it couldn't hurt to let Mario be in it. Because, after all, he did just have his movie and everything. He just did have his movie. And he did actually look pretty cool using fire abilities in his movie. So, yeah, I guess I would definitely bring Mario into this. Because, after all, yeah, Mario's a good buddy. I mean, come on. Mario's a good friend. So, I'm pretty sure he's definitely going to be awesome, and plus, my brother Sonic is in there, so you know, rest assured, there's probably going to be a lot of, uh, Sonic and Mario references in there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so yeah, Mario, you're definitely going to be part of the, uh, Team Flame, so yeah, congratulations, Mario, you're going to be part of this. Anywho, um... Anywho, there's another character a lot of you guys wanted me to add in. I just didn't know if I wanted to do this. And here's the character. It's Bowser. Because a lot of you guys really wanted me to uh, bring in Bowser for him. I mean, for uh, Team Flame. Because after all, he does have fire abilities. He, well, he breathes fire and stuff. But here's the thing, though. I honestly don't know if he... Uh, Will want to join because, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Because here's the thing, though. Okay, here's the thing, guys. Years ago, me and Bowser, we actually had, like, a, uh, a bit of a falling out. Why? What's wrong? What did you guys do? Well, Blaze, here's the thing. Me and Bowser, it happened during the Olympic Games. It happened during the Olympic Games, and, uh... Yeah, he's still really, really mad at me. 
about this. Why? What happened? Well, he's still mad at me because I, uh, <clears throat> I sort of asked Princess Peach to be my skating partner during the ice skating, uh, t about, with the ice skating thing. Well, I don't know why he got mad at that. It was because he wanted to be with Peach. Because he, because, you see, here's the thing. He wanted to be with Peach, so that way he can piss off Mario. Oh man, what the world, Bowser? And to think, I thought you were a really great guy. Wait, hold up. Where the heck did this pe where the heck did this picture of Bowsette come from? Where did the picture of Bowsette come from? Holy mother of god, guys, I totally forgot about Bowsette! She has fire abilities too! Oh my god, I totally forgot about her. Okay, you know what? Yeah, Bowsette and Bowser, they can definitely be part of this too as well. They can be part of the uh Team Flame, and I guess Bowser, for once, maybe you and I can get along. Because, after all, you're not too bad of a King Koopa. You're not too bad of a Koopa. Well, yeah, you're not too bad, dude. So, yeah, Bowser and Bowsette. Those two, they're going to be part of Team Flame. Hopefully, 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 me and Bowser do not get... Hopefully, 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 me and Bowser do not get into any fights or anything. Because here's the thing, guys. Like I said before, me and Bowser, we actually have a lot of falling outs and stuff. So, yeah, I just don't want any fights or anything to uh, happen here. Oh, almost forgot about Bowsette. Okay... Bowsette. All right, there we go. And finish writing this down. Okay, there. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, that's it for that Google video. Well, guys, that's it for this Google video. And I guess I can uh, leave you with this picture uh, from uh, Bowser Fury. I guess, after all, Fury Bowser actually looks pretty awesome, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so, guys, uh, thank you, Static, so much for uh, giving me this whole entire list to work with. Uh, some of the characters you were actually really good with, uh, like, like, for example, Boom and, uh, I mean, I mean, Bloom and, uh, Sabo, um, I'm, and Jake, not to mention Jake, uh, but all these other characters, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, but a lot of those characters, they're not gonna make the cut, I'm sorry, but, hey, thank you for, rec but thank you for recommending them and having me look over them, I guess, maybe, anyway, uh, after long, after thinking long and hard, yeah, I actually decided I am thinking about let, uh, bringing Bowser on here, because here's the thing, though, like I said before, guys, uh, Bowser, like I said, him and I, we don't really get along, but I'm pretty sure he would be, uh, interested to help me out, and besides, if you think about it, maybe Princess Peach might be watching, who knows, <laughs> and also, if that's gonna be the case, then... I might have to uh, ask Princess Peach if she can uh, let me experiment on a fire flower. Because if the Mario characters are going to be joining in on this, then they definitely need to, uh, you know, have a fire flower. Anyway, and also speaking of which, guys, you guys are probably wondering how the world did Sonic get fire abilities? Well, it's because of that fire flower. So I thought... So I thought, you know, uh, I would work on a ultimate fire flower. So that way the Mario characters can come in and uh, join in. Anyway, guys, I know that Bowser already has like fire abilities. So I thought maybe with this power up, maybe he can actually help out. Okay, well, anyway, ladies, um, thank you so much for helping me out here with this. Thank you so much for helping me out. No problem. Anyway, so, Blaze, it actually has been a long time since I, uh, last seen you. So, how are things over back in Mobius? Things are fine. All the girls in the harem actually miss you. Yeah, I know, I know. I miss them, too. But like I said before, you can easily just open up a portal and head on over here. I mean, you can do that, you know? Yeah, that is true. I mean, before you left, you did leave us that portal. Yeah, I know. So, like I said before, if you ever need any uh, help or anything, you could just come on by to Equestria. Although, when it comes to Equestria, you might have to get used to walking on all fours. I mean, think about it. We're ponies, for crying out loud. But, uh, you're not a pony. But anyway, 
Yeah, like I said before, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys uh, think any of those characters that I X'd off were actually, uh, you know, uh, Team Flame material. Oh, and also, also, real quick, I want to show this again. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want to show this again. Uh, where is it? Okay, I want to show this again real quick. Uh, can someone please tell me in the comment section who the heck this is right here? The girl. Who is that? Who is that? Because she looks like that she might have some fire abilities, I guess. I don't know. Can someone please, in the comment section, tell me who this is, okay? Tell me who this is, all right? Tell me who this is because I sure don't know. I haven't seen, I haven't seen Legend of Korra in a long time. Because like I said, I'm more into Avatar The Last Airbender. Anywho... Oh, and if you guys, oh, and if you guys have any other recommendations for any other characters with fire abilities, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and also, uh, also, a big special shout out to Static the Hedgehog for recommending me this, uh, fire list. Thank you so much for recommending this list. You're awesome, dude. You're a great flamethrower. You've been by my side ever since the beginning. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you give me throughout this whole entire YouTube career that I had, that I have. And I just want to say you're an awesome bro. And uh, yeah, keep up the good work with your content as well. I don't know if you do make content, but still. Anyway, uh, thank you so again. Thank you so much for the love and support. And thank you so much for recommending me these characters. Sorry that some of the characters did not make the cut. But hey, at least you did try your best. That's all that matters. Anyway, love you, dude. Anywho. Uh, oh, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And be sure to keep an eye out later on for another video I'm going to be making later on today. You guys remember that episode with uh, Cloudy Quartz and uh, and uh, Pinky? She actually found a uh, sun-shaped stone that can actually help me out. Well, keep an eye out for that video because that video is definitely going to be awesome. Wait until you see it later on today. Anyway, Twilight, uh, did you get the stone? Mm-hmm. And did you study it? Mm-hmm. Okay, and she's going to tell us the results later on today. Anyway, guys, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Blaze the Cat, Sunset Shimmer, and Twilight Sparkle. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Again, who the heck is the woman? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, later, flamethrowers.